Section 4. Bill Pay Tracking Desktop Application Using Electron Overview and Opening an Electron Window In this video, we will review the application we will be building, review the project setup, install and configure Electron in our project. Here is a sample of the application we will be building in this section. This application tracks payments made for various types of bills. So in this example, we'll be able to track various bills that are paid for a given category. In this case, we have utilities, petrol, food, and house expenses. It provides a percentage breakdown for each category of bills paid, as well as a history of all the bills paid. It also allows us to edit and delete, as well as add new records. All of this is running as a desktop application, which we'll be building using the Electron framework. Our category information will be read from a comma-separated value file, or CSV. This file contains a numeric identifier followed by a description for each category. Each category is listed on a separate line. We also will have a records file, which will contain data that looks something like this. It contains a unique record identifier, followed by date information, followed by the amount spent, followed by category, and finally a quick description of what the record was paying. Each record is listed on a separate line. Our project setup is pretty straightforward. Here I have a Visual Studio Code window open, and we have a data folder, a source folder, and a www folder. In the root of the project, we have a tsconfig that tells us how to compile our TypeScript, a package JSON that we use for building, a package lock, which is also used for package install information, as well as a build.js build script. Examining our tsconfig JSON file, the options in here are default for the most part, with the exception being the out directory is set to dist and strict mode is commented out. In the package JSON, most of the settings here are standard as well. The one thing to note is we have a build script, which calls node and passes build.js. Build.js contains a simple build script, which cleans, builds using TypeScript, copies resources from www, and copies our data. The configuration of this build script is outside the scope of this section. Simply refer to the provided code sample in order to obtain this file. One other thing to note in package.json is we have the following dev dependencies installed, child process, fs extra, and TypeScript. These are all for the build process. From here, setting up our application is pretty straightforward. Under source, add a new file, name it program.ts. In the terminal, we need to install Electron. If you're not familiar with Electron, Electron allows you to wrap up a web application into a nicely packaged desktop application. To install Electron, simply navigate to the terminal and type npm install electron double dash save dash dev. After the installation completes, verify package JSON to ensure that Electron has been installed. In program TS, we need to import app, browser window, and menu from Electron. Next, we need to create a class called program. And before we go any further, we need to add a global variable that creates a new program. Within program, we need a private variable called underscore window, which is of type browser window. Next, create a public constructor. Inside the constructor, we need to call a app once ready callback. This sets the window to a new browser window, takes in some parameters such as size and what the title bar style is and background color, things of that nature. Next, we tell it not to show by default which prevents a flickering artifact that sometimes shows up in certain environments. And finally, we need to tell Electron that we want node integration to be true. After creating the window, we need to set up a once ready to show event. We're going to hook this up to a on window ready method, which we've yet to create. Below the constructor, create a on window ready function, which returns type void. Within this function, write out some debug text to let us know that we're showing the window and call this window show. This event will be called once Electron has done all of its initialization and is ready to actually display the window. Next, in the terminal, write the command npm run build. This executes the build script and copies everything as needed to the dist folder. Now that we've built successfully, there's a little bit more setup that's required in order to actually run this. Go back to package.json. Underneath the build script, add a new line, which contains a start script. This script points to the electron binary and passes it program.js as the entry point. Underneath this window once ready to show, we need one more command. 
In this case, we're telling the window to load the file from the executable directory called index.html, which we haven't yet created. Let's go ahead and do that now. Under www, add a new file. Call it index.html. In the HTML file, add the following code. We have the doc type, HTML, some header information, a small body tag, and the closing HTML tag. It'd be a good idea at this point to save all. In the terminal, execute npm run build. Once that's complete, execute npm run start. You'll be presented with a window that looks like this. It's nothing fancy, all it says is home. But this lets us know that Electron is initialized properly and loading our web page as expected.